Hello, this is Dolph Diamond, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. As you can see, 1.16 released, so I enabled the Minecraft music, create created a single player world, as you do, to just play a nice, peaceful survival world. Until I inevitably realize that it's not peaceful at the beginning, because everything tries to murder your face off when it turns night. And, uh... I'm just going to show you what I've done in the nether update so far. Because, uh, why not? Might even stream this single player world. Probably, probably just a chill stream of me trying to get acquired netherite for the first time. You now what always happens is that uh, when I first load into world and stuff, everything lags. But after, like, 30 seconds, everything's good for the rest of the time. So, I made a base here up on this little mountain, which... I thought it was pretty interesting. Hey, zombie. Zombie. Why would you... Why would you be here? Why do you be here when my PC is still lagging and not ready to run Minecraft yet? Because it takes 30 seconds for it to uh, load all the chunks. Okay, like right now, I think it's... Okay, it's good. But there's this cool village down here. And the uh, design for it and the way it generated was very cool. So I built on top of this hill here like I'm the king of the village or something. And I got very lucky when I found this village, because I immediately got me a full set of iron armor and even a diamond pickaxe. Which I have in the chest here, because when I went into the nether, I didn't want to lose everything. And I got nine ender pearls very easily, but I still need more if I want to get to the end eventually. Uh, by A, there was just some random endermen, and uh, as you can see, I went to the warped forest, which is where endermen spawn very frequently. And I tried to play, plant some, uh, crimson, uh, trees or whatever. Because I was like, uh, I want to make it look like both vines in the nether, like, clashing out for a battle over the overworld or something at, the, at my nether portal. But that's kind of all I could really make at the moment. So let's, let's go to the nether and, uh, show you off my nether spawn here. That could have been bad. Hey, hey, zombie. Ha, die. 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 So one thing cool that I heard is that Flea may be starting off his realm again. Which, of course, I would... Oh, sorry, dude. You have died, actually. Actually, no, you can give good trades if I'm able to get the stuff to make you not dead. Do not get in the way of my arrows. That is your fault if you do. Get in, get in the hole, get in the hole. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, let me get some more food here. But yeah, basically because of uh, the cool village and stuff, I got some decent gear. Went mining, gave him more gear. And now I need to head into the nether. So uh, let me just... I wouldn't make an iron pickaxe, but... Don't want to waste you guys' uh, time in this video. So I'm just going to make a quick uh, stone one. That should be good for now. Show off. And I've currently been able to go to... Two out of the... Uh, four new biomes added. But there's technically the fifth one, which is the normal nether we've all seen, you know. So you go into another portal here. And immediately it's different from before, as you know. You got this crimson forest here. And there's a cre- Bruh. How did you get here? Uh, well that's, that's a bit of a problem, isn't it? Uh... I don't have flint and steel on me. Um... What would... Um... Why don't I have flint and... I had flint and steel not too long. Did I put my flint and steel in the nether chest? Did I? Well, uh... I'm gonna have to figure that out later, I guess. 
But anyways, you got all these uh, cool blocks here. I made sure to write the coordinates to uh, all the stuff I needed to remember on Notepad. And look, this place is pretty cool. Uh, it's pretty high up in the Nether at 93. Uh, but then there is these things, the uh, piglins. Now they won't attack you uh, unless if you're wearing gold armor, they'll respect you. But as soon as you like try to steal some of them or like mine a block of gold, it's like you're robbing and then they'll attack you. Uh, these warp mushrooms are very useful because if you run to the normal pigs of the nether now, which are like hoglins, uh, they're basically the ravagers of the nether. Uh, they are very mad and will always attack you, but they don't like warp stuff. So the warp mushrooms, place one down, they'll run away for you. It's really easy to do. And the more you start exploring, you find stream light, you'll find uh, warped forest, which is a blue raspberry version of this. There's the bat. Basalt Delta, Basalt Delta, however you say it. That's basically a volcanic region. Soul Sand Valley, which is a whole area made of soul sand and blue fire. So it's really cool. This is by another update. And if you haven't installed already, I recommend installing it. And uh, we leave a like if you guys want me to live stream this world here. In the meantime, I need to figure out how to get home.